Hey guys, sorry about that. I, uh, I died, so I, uh, went back and had to redo everything because being the stupid person that I am, I didn't save anything. So yeah, had to go back and redo from the start, but it's okay because we're at the point where I left off where I died. So, I think we just got just this guy to kill. Should be quite easy because this gun is awesome. Come on. I'm gonna kick your ass. It's the end of them. Yeah, they just kind of ambush you, but I'm okay now. So, and I got this incinerator, so should be okay. There's lots of stuff to loot in here. But the dynamite is really powerful too, too, so it will help. And I can repair some of the weapons and other stuff too, so So, um, actually, a couple things that I missed the last time that I wanted to show you was in this gift shop, I found a skill book on the floor here. It's uh, Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. So make sure that you find that. It won't be in the same spot every time. You go in and you hack this terminal. You go into this room and somewhere in here there is a Steve Bison maintenance key. Uh, the one that I did find was sitting on the table right here. Uh, and then don't forget there's also some bottle caps and probably a firearm and some medics lying around as well. So I missed that. So let's go back to where those powder gangers were and uh, we've looted these guys already. Let's go back to their main room. Hopefully there's nobody in here. Nope. Doesn't look like there's... Oh. Yep. Time to get out of here. So annoying. These weapons suck. And I don't have any ammo for friggin' anything, so. Had enough. Damn! He's killing me with a wrench, damn it. That is enough. Ridiculous. Okay, anyways. Back to what we were talking about. Um, I need some stims. Stim packs. So, ugh. wonder if I can eat some stuff and it'll heal me. Uh, yeah, so maybe there's some stuff in here that we can loot. I don't think that there is much bottle cap, carton of cigarettes. Uh, yeah, it's just a bunch of tables piled up always look in these boxes you never know if there will be things lying around in any of these pots people like to hide things in places so 
And, okay, so what's in this? Oh, we have a kitchen. Good. So there's probably some stuff in here. Big spoon. I don't know why I took that. I'm thinking that that hallway leads to that other door that we have to un that we unlocked. Oh, and there's a man in here. Who are you? I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I hear you may have information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as... Uh... I wonder if I can get him to... Yeah, if I read a magazine, I can rush get the information from him. Uh, or if I wear the... Business suit. And then read a magazine. It would be so very... I'm in quite a state here. If you help me with... Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow... There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. You won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. It would be so... Okay, so I guess I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little uh, If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help. But without it, you lead the... Excellent. So we have his help now. Coward. <sighs> oh, and we leveled up. Awesome. All right, 14 skill points. We're going to put some into friggin' lockpick for sure. Because now we'll be able to read a magazine and we can lock pick all of the ones that are at 50. Uh, I should put five into medicine. And then the rest I want to put into... One into speech. And then one into... The rest into science. Repair. No. The rest into science. And then, uh, let's choose, um, yeah, additional point when you read a skill book. Awesome. Okay. I wish that there was sensor module lying around somewhere so we need to consolidate some of our weapons from what we've gathered because we're going to be over encumbered quite soon here yeah see we have all these friggin varmint rifles we don't need all that shit ah there was a sensor module in there excellent we might be able to go and get that robot up and running Okay, there's nothing back here. Oh, jeez, he scared me. Ah, see, this is the maintenance, the maintenance key. Okay, so that maintenance key will open this door, and then you can get back to this kitchen without having, and you bypass all of the guys that are here. Anyways, it makes no difference now because we've killed them all, so what we need to do next is go upstairs. So let's go upstairs probably arm ourselves okay and there's guys up here so here we go I think what I'm going to do is use some dynamite because then I can catch them from afar. 
maybe. Let's lockpick this first. And see what's in the storeroom. Dirty water. Sensor module. Excellent. Nothing in there. Ooh, doctor's bag. Excellent. And we don't need a vacuum cleaner. We do not need a vacuum cleaner. This place is dirty enough. Thank you very much. Oh shit, we're too close. I'll end up killing him. Okay, here we go. I think I can do it with a sturdy shotgun. Boom. Oh, that was good. Anybody there? Here he comes. Prepare yourself. I'll get him because he's got a gun. Whoa, 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 I need a stim pack. Close, 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 close. Okay, super stim pack. And we'll drink these sunset sarsaparillas and quickly run away. And then get my freaking dynamite out here. Cheapus. It's because I'm in a suit. I need to have armor on, damn it. God. Where's my friggin' armor? Good heavens. Put a hat... Oh, I got my hat on. <laughs> Alright, I need to... Re-arm myself. And blow this guy's head off. Okay, that's done. Who's next? Which one of you poor souls is next? This gun friggin' sucks. God, don't any of these guns work? Like, Jesus. And I have nothing that will... Ugh. Why are you just standing there? Well, okay, fine with that. The deputy's gonna die. Yeah, take that, sucker. Alright, are you okay? I'm surprised you're still alive. God, what a mess. Okay. So we got that, that. Storm chaser hat. Long fuse dynamite. Okay. What else? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at all this good stuff. Duct tape. That'll be good for making weapon repair kits. And I'm over encumbered. So let's repair some weapons. Because I really need a tire iron. I'm just going to drop that. Okay, and this guy too. And 
And there was another guy. Yeah, back there. Okay, well, let's explore this part first, then we'll grab him. Nothing in there. And nothing. Okay. Da, 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 da. And I'm over encumbered. Uh. God, so many pistols. Who's this? Help! Where do you think you're going? Yeah, get back here. Why is he running? Good job, deputy. Yeah, look at all the loot he had. He had dynamite, and he didn't even want to attack us. That's weird. Alright. So, what's this room? Okay, there's an office in here. Cigarette butt. Butter knife. Nothing in the desk. Dinner plates. What's in here? Pre-war money. Empty. Empty, empty, empty. Okay. What about this room? Pre-war money. Okay. Books. Nothing on the floor. See, this. sometimes these rooms are in ruins, right? And it's so hard to see what is in them. And then you often end up missing like a skill book or something even more important. Um, this obviously has another level to it, so we're going to have to deal with that later. Mm-hmm. Wonder glue. I wonder if that's it for the powder gangers, or if there's more up ahead. I wonder. Who knows? Oh, okay, well I wonder if we can... Okay, I'll just quickly loot this room and see what is in here. And if we don't need anything from here, well, I'll just, I'll finish this first level and then we'll go back up. Because that's probably the way we have to go, so. Nuka-Cola. Okay. Pack of cigarettes. Good. Suitcase. Or money. I'm just waiting for a skill book or something to pop up here, but there doesn't seem to be anything. Wow. Lots of places to explore. What's this room? Sorry about that. That Howdy. was. That door went to the outside of the second part. Like the the roller coaster level of prim so anyways what do we got in here uh oh there's a hollow tape what is this ransom note okay let's read this if you want to see your wife live again bring the cash and small mark bills to the bison steve tuesday uh okay i don't think i think that that's kind of come and gone <laughs> He's obviously not alive anymore, so... Oh good, ammo. This is nice. Alright, uh, we need to consolidate some of these weapons again. Don't need that. Uh, you know, I don't think I need the cleaver either. Waste. Waste of stuff. And the silence pistol. I want to save that ammo for something else. Always look in the garbage cans. You never know what you're going to find. 
Right? Where does this go? Hmm. Okay. I always like rooms that have locked doors because that means that there's good stuff in it. Jet, Psycho, Psycho. This was obviously like the main leader's uh, bedroom kind of thing. We could sleep if we wanted to on that bed, but we won't do that. And a switchblade, and that's it in this room. Pretty good loot. Yep. Alright, so let's go back. Right. Back here, we've been here, we've been here, we've been in there, and I think we have to go up the other way to that second level part. Yeah, so let's go up that way. I don't know what happened to the friggin' deputy, he just kind of abandoned us. Whatever. Except it's gonna really suck if there's some more powder gangers up top here. Which is possible. Quite likely. Well, I'm definitely have reached maximum capacity here. Alright, so this is that other room that we went into. Um, and... Yeah, I'm over encumbered, so let's eat some stuff. There we go. Okay, anything in here? No. Nope. What's in here? Ah, excellent. Blade gauntlet. Hmm. I wonder how good that works. And over encumbered again. Um, let's drink a scotch. That will help. Alrighty. Yeah, it's it's hard. I mean, you try and carry everything that you that you can, and then you end up over encumbered, right? So, but this casino has really definitely seen better days, and I think this is as far as it goes. Apparently, hmm. All right, kids, it's as far as it goes. So I think what we'll do is we'll. Yeah, I see that that's where we came up. Actually, I almost missed this. I don't know if you guys seen this locker here. It's an armor case. Which has two different types of am um, armor, but it's not... They're not really worth anything, so that's okay. I won't take those. Alrighty. So that's, uh, that's the end of this video. Um, I'm going to head back down and we'll go out to the second floor door of the where the roller coaster is and we'll take care of those. Actually, you know what? Let's we have some extra time. So, we'll go outside and we'll take care of those guys and then that will be the All right. I'm going to need a range weapon here. So, I wonder if the cowboy repeater will work for this. Gotta be careful not to fall. Actually, I should save right now.
because you never know. It might fall off of this and then you end up dying because friggin. I don't think that there's anybody on this. Oh, wait. We got someone. And I've got a damaged limb, so... Where is this guy? I can't see him. This would be so much easier if the friggin' deputy was here. Hmm. Okay, we'll just keep walking this. Oh, there's a blip. There he is. I see him. Hold on while I reload. Thanks for your patience. Oh, sorry, did I get you? I'm hit. Don't fall off. There we go. Cool. Oh, wait, come back. <laughs> I still have to loot you. Alright. So I think that's hopefully it um, I know that sometimes they might have there might be something up here maybe like a secret thing or something I don't know you never know you always need to check right so and I don't believe that that's the case and I definitely don't want to fall off of there so I'm gonna go back the other way and um, I think that we'll end the video here and so thanks for watching and thanks for your patience considering how many times I've died <laughs> and uh, so I think we'll end the video here and thanks for watching if you like this episode make sure that you click the like button and share it with your friends and uh, you can uh, Find the rest of these videos on my YouTube channel, Vendertron, or my website, Vendertron.com. And we'll see you in episode 11. Thanks for watching.